Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Alike SN100W 100 watt foldable solar panel. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So peak power on this is 100 watts plus or minus five watts. Now that's the maximum the panel is capable of. There are many factors in determining how many watts you're actually going to get from the panel to whatever you're connecting it to. And that's what this and every other solar panel. The open circuit voltage is 24.4 volts. Short circuit current is 6.11 amps. Maximum operating voltage is 20.9 volts. Maximum operating current is 5.74 amps. So I also have the All Like power station that I'll be connecting this to, and that was also provided to me by All Like. So let's get this open. Okay, so here we have the panel. We have the instruction manual. Let's take a quick look at the manual. So I'm not going to cover everything in here if you'll want to read through these on your own, but it has some instructions on using it and warranty and such. Here we have the technical details. We read a lot of these on the box. So this solar panel is a monocrystalline solar panel. So that's the better type. The other type is polycrystalline. The connector is MC4. So that's a standard solar panel connection. I don't see it on here, but the Amazon description lists the waterproof rating on this is IP68. So it should be a great all weather panel. So this lists the different parts. We have the solar panel, an MC4 to XT60 cable, and a user manual. It talks about how to use it. So you unfold it, you prop the kickstands out, you place it in the sun. The optimum position is to have the sun 90 degrees to the panel. Then you'll hook up the MC4 connectors to the cable and you'll plug that into your power station. So this talks about maximum efficiency. So you want that 90%. You don't want shade on it. You want to keep it clean. You don't want to have leaves blowing up against it, things like that, that can hurt your efficiency. This talks about setting the panels up in parallel. And I think that's everything here. So the panel has this kind of fabric texture to it. It has these kickstands that pop out. We have a handle here and those have magnets in them. There's a bag, let's open this up. Okay, so here we have the cable. This is the MC4 to the XT60 and this is the MC4 cable connected to the solar panel. So it's nice having that storage built right into the solar panel. So let's open this up a little bit. We have grommets on the corner and here's the inside of the panel. You can see it there. So I will take this outside and unfold it. I just want to show it on my bench so we can look at it in detail. Let's take a look at one of these kickstands. So they have these snaps here. Then it has, this is a non-elastic strap. And then there is elastic back here. So if we set this up, you can change the different angles. There's a lot of weight on here because it's folded, but when it's unfolded, you can adjust the angle there. So it just happens to be raining today, but when we have some sun in the next few days, I'll take this out and I'll demonstrate using it. Okay, so it's around nine o'clock in the morning. I have a solar panel. I have the all like portable power station and the power station is currently at around 37% state of charge. So I'm going to get the solar panel set up. Now for the most optimum charging, you're going to want to point it towards the sun. Now the sun's moving, so I'll want to come out and move the solar panel every once in a while. So let's get this set up. Okay, so I have the panel deployed. Now I'm going to plug it into the back of the power station. So the power station is turned on. So I want the panels in the sun, but I want the power station in the shade. So it has that nice long cord. So if you're camping or something, you might have the solar panels out in the sun, and then you might put the power station under a picnic table or a canopy or something. So on the display here, we can see we're charging at 34 watts. There are many factors that determine the efficiency of how much solar you're going to get. This is early in the year, so solar charging is not going to be as optimum as in the summer, but right now it's not aimed very well. So let's re-aim this and recheck these numbers. So one way you can tell the aim is off is the shadow should be directly behind the panel. So that means the panel's not facing the sun as well as it could be. So first I'll do that. Let's go check the power station. So now we're up to 37 watts. Now we're at 38, 39. It's taking a minute to adjust. And it is early in the morning. It's only nine o'clock. So the charging will go up over time. The next thing we can adjust is the angle. So my favorite way to do that is to take a cylinder of some sort. This is a small paint can. We'll place it against the panel and we'll adjust the angle of the panel so this doesn't have a shadow. And we want to get as close as we can. So there was a shadow above the can. So it means I need to tilt the panel up. So that's pretty good. When I place the can against the panel, there's almost no shadow. So let's go look at the power station now. So we're currently at around 42. So this is a 100 watt panel. 
but that's under the perfect conditions. But for early morning charging, I think 42 is pretty good. So I'm going to let this charge up and I'll come back and check it every once in a while and I'll also readjust the panel. Okay, so it's about an hour later, it's 10 a.m. and we're currently charging at 51 watts. Now our percentage is still at 37%, so even at 51 watts, it would take probably 20 hours or so to charge this battery from empty. So I'll come back a little later. I did some very slight re-aiming of the panel, but I'll come back in an hour or two and we'll check it out again. Okay, so it's just before noon and we're currently charging at 10 watts and 39%. Now I haven't re-aimed the panel, it's off a ways, but it's kind of overcast. But this is a real world test, and this is what really happens when you're trying to charge your solar sometimes, is it gets to be overcast. So I'm going to try and roughly re-aim the panels, and hopefully the sun will pop back out, and I can get some better charging. Now when I started the day, I knew it was gonna rain later today, but as of right now, it's just kind of cloudy. And this is what it's looking like outside. You can see there's no shadow behind the panel. Well, it's around two in the afternoon. We're getting about three, four watts of solar. I haven't readjusted the panel, but it's overcast and it's going to rain in an hour or so maybe. Now this panel is waterproof, but I have no reason to leave it out. So I'm going to go pack it up for the day. We'll start this again the next day we have some sun. So it was very sunny yesterday. Unfortunately, I wasn't available to do this yesterday. So we'll try again in the future. So to disconnect this, I'll just unplug it. I have the cord there. I'll put that in the pouch after I fold it up. The elastic on those legs makes it really easy to fold up. There we go, it's all ready to stow away. Okay, it's a different day as I filmed this. When I started this video, we had bright sun, but it quickly turned to overcast and then rain, but we have a nice sunny day now. It's mid-morning right now. Let's check out how much solar we're bringing in. So we're currently bringing in a little bit over 50 watts of solar. The state of charge is currently at 39%. So I'll check in on this during the day. I'll reposition the solar panel and we'll check on the state of the battery. It's a little before one o'clock. There's a little bit of shade from a tree on the solar panel, but we're currently charging at around 30 watts and we're at 49% on the state of charge. Okay, so it's around three o'clock and we're at 54% on the state of charge and we're currently pulling in around five watts. And the reason is, is we have a tree here in the way, but we brought the battery up quite a bit. I'm getting good charging when we have the full sun, but this time of day, the tree gets in the way quite a bit. So a little bit later, I'll have more sun, but I do have to run somewhere right now. So I'll have to fold up the panel. The nice thing about this is it folds up super quick. So that is the all like SN100W 100 watt solar panel. So I really like the construction of the solar panel. It has that IP waterproof rating on it and it has a nice sturdy feel to it. I found this very easy to set up with these legs with the elastic here. And as I talked about in my video, if you want the most optimum solar, you really need to aim it and then re-aim it throughout the day. And I found it very easy to do with this panel. So I was using this with the SN1000 portable power station that All Like provided me with, but this should work with other portable power stations that support 100 watt solar panel input. And we have those MC4 connectors and that should connect up to most systems. And this had that XT60 connector and between those two, those connect to pretty much everything or you can get adapters to connect to pretty much anything. So the important thing to remember with this or any other solar panel is that you're not going to get good output if you don't have good input. So you want to make sure it's facing the sun aimed properly. So if you're looking at using a solar panel like this, say for weekend camping, my recommendation is to make sure your power station is charged up to 100%. That may seem obvious, but some people might think their power station could be at 20% and then hook it up to solar and fill it up real quick. But that's not how it works unless you have a massive solar array. But when you have that power station filled up all the way, you can use the power there and you can use the solar to recoup some or all of the power you use. But having your power station charged up all the way, it's going to put you in a better situation if you do have shade or rain or something like that. With this having the waterproof rating, you could set this up in the sun. You could put your power station, say, in a tent and run the cord through the tent's cord access, which is pretty common these days. And if you're out hiking for the day and it starts raining or something, you don't have to worry about your solar panel back at camp. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.